This is not a recommendation. If you want advice tailored to your specific circumstances, seek independent financial advice. This is one of the questions that cropped up in our live Q&A session for Patreon sponsors. And the question was, what do you think of eToro? If you haven't heard of eToro, it's a platform where you can copy other people's trades. It's probably worth looking at the warning at the bottom of the page. What it's warning about are CFDs, which is one of the main financial instruments that you can trade on eToro. And what it says is that two thirds of the retail investor accounts, that's you and me, lose money when trading CFDs with eToro. Now that's a pretty stark warning. Why is it on the website? It's because of this ruling from ESMA. Who is ESMA? Well, you can think of them as the financial coppers for Europe. And in this May 2018 ruling, they did two things. The first was to restrict the marketing, distribution or sale of CFDs to normal investors. That's retail clients. And the second, which isn't applicable to eToro, was to ban binary options completely. I've done a whole video about that. Now, what ESMA is forcing eToro to do is to put this risk warning on their website. It has to be in a reasonable font size and it has to give an up to date number for the percentage of eToro clients that lose money. Here in the UK, our regulator, the FCA, sent this Dear CEO letter to all companies which trade CFDs in the UK. They say that CFDs are high risk, complex financial products. They're used for speculative trading purposes, in other words, not investment, and are often highly leveraged. And that puts individuals at risk of losing significantly more than they put into the investment. So the fact that CFDs are a big part of eToro instantly puts me on my guard. The eToro website says that it has millions of users and their social trading platform lets you become a leader or a follower. That means you produce your own trades and hopefully you're successful and other people follow you or you follow someone who you think will be successful in future. As well as CFDs, you can have copy portfolios on eToro. And these are simply like little portfolios, but their contents are continually changed given some predetermined strategy. And they come in two flavors. Top trader copy portfolios lets you follow the best traders. And those are curated by eToro according to some particular strategy. For example, it might be long-term stock investors. Alternatively, you can go for the market copy portfolio, which contains underlying assets like stocks, ETFs or currencies. Something really important is how eToro makes money. Their fees are based on spreads. In other words, if you trade more frequently, they make more money. And if you follow a portfolio that does a lot of financial transactions, that could run up your transaction costs. And this is what the interface looks like when you look for people to copy. You've got various pull down menus at the top so you can filter the people you follow. And at the bottom, you can see the top investors sorted by their performance over some period of time. But what's worrying is that the longest time period you can use is just two years. Now that's a problem because you have to figure out whether they're successful because of luck or because they're skillful, because luck doesn't last, whereas skill does. If you look at conventional professional money managers, they're notoriously unsuccessful at beating markets. In this S&P Dow Jones index versus active report, you can see that over a 10 year horizon, the vast majority of fund managers fail to beat their benchmark. For example, sterling denominated global equity funds only manage to beat their index 5% of the time over a 10 year horizon. So I'm amazed that ESMA doesn't force them to put a warning on their website, given those very poor odds of success. So my fundamental problem with eToro is that it's based on the same belief as active management, which is that humans can beat the market. We tend to focus on the success stories. What we don't hear so much about is investors which have succeeded in the past spectacularly, but then crashed. And what Jack Bogle says is buy the haystack, buy market indices and follow them for a very long period of time very cheaply. Because although it's less exciting, it'll give you a much higher probability of long term investment success. So that's my take on eToro. Now, if you want to ask your own questions and join us at the live Q&A sessions, all you have to do is to pay five dollars or more on Patreon or preferably pay ten dollars or more like Adrian Green and Ian Stenton. And then you can join us and ask anything you like. All you have to do is click on the buttons above. You'll find the link to Patreon there and we'd love to see you there.